demonstrate you guys how you can add 3D floating objects inside of your videos in After Effects super, super easily. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're going to be uploading every single day for the month of December. And we're also offering a buy one, get one free on our website. So if you guys are looking to level up your edits, go check out our presets and plugins down below. But let's hop right into this. So opened up inside of After Effects here, we have this clip of a little baby. And to get started, we're going to right click inside of our comp and create a new solid. Now I recommend calling this element, but you can call it whatever you want. And then we're going to go up to effects here and we're going to search up element as we're going to be using this to add 3D to our video. So go ahead and drag and drop that on top of the element solid. And you guys can see it goes transparent. Go up and open your effects controls and open up the scene setup. Now, if you guys want to get 3D assets, there's a bunch of websites you could download for free. I got this $100 bill for free from Sketchfab, but there's also websites like TurboSquid as well. I do recommend Sketchfab because you can view it in like real time and see how it will look in your project. And I also recommend only downloading OBJs as that's what works best inside of Element. So go ahead and hit import in the top left here. And we're gonna click on the OBJ here and then just hit okay with all these settings checked. And you guys can see, we can't really see anything right now, but you wanna go ahead and click on your object up here inside of your scene and click normalize size. And you guys can see that makes it a lot bigger. And then we're gonna hit okay. So it's still not visible yet, but we can see it's just sideways. So we're gonna open up group one open up particle look and particle replicator. And then we're gonna open up rotation here and just play around with these until we get the side that we want. So let's say uh, this side right here and boom, we have our 3D floating object inside of here. Now, if you haven't used element 3D before, you can play with the rotation and keyframe all this stuff inside of here. But what we wanna do now is we wanna open up replicator effects and turn on scatter. And then we also wanna open up particle rotation here and also multi object here and then turn multi object on. Now, once we have multi object on, you wanna turn on the particle count up here. Just go ahead and turn that up. We're gonna do like something like 200 and then you can go ahead and turn up the scatter multi here. As you can see, it creates a bunch of them. And then I recommend going to particle size now and just turning them down and just going back and forth between the scatter multi and then that, and then turning down your particle count until you get something that you like. So let's go with this here. Now we're going to go back to the one we opened earlier, which is multi object. And then we're going to open up rotation here like we did and turn on rotation random and just twirl that a bit. Go ahead and turn this down here. And then we're also going to go ahead and just turn up the scatter multi to like 400 or something and then go ahead and turn these up here. So we're getting kind of a pattern here. So to fix this, turn on displace XYZ. Turn this to like 300, turn this to like 300, and turn this to like 300, and we'll turn this down. I meant to turn on scatter. Uh, literally just do that exact same thing for this. So we're gonna literally just mess around with this until we get it the way we want. And then turn on scatter and just play around with these until you get the look you're looking for, while also turning down the particle count here. Let's turn this to like 200. All right, so once we have the money looking sort of decent here, I do recommend going down and opening up deform here. And the bend is what's gonna really sell the money effect here. So go ahead and enable that. And then we could turn on the bend angle. You guys can see it's like bending the money and then the bend direction here. I also recommend turning up the scatter here. I think the deform is cooking it right now. I'm not really sure why. We'll turn it on X here. Okay, X seems to be good. The deform usually works. I'm not sure why it's being weird right now. We're gonna keyframe that one. So at the very beginning, click on the bend direction keyframe and then go to the end and just make it move a little bit. So you get a little bit of movement with the money there. And then you also want to go ahead and play with the rotation here. So that's going to move all of them here. We don't want that. We want rotation random, which is right here. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, bring it to the very end, and then just move it a little bit like this. And you guys can see we have 3D floating objects inside of our scene. Now here's a little tip to make everything blend a lot better. If you go into at the very bottom here and you open up custom layers, custom texture maps here. And then if you go to layer one and you select none, and then you select your video here, it's basically going to take your video. And if you go inside of scene setup now, you could then click on your material texture and go to the environment for it and then click this arrow and you can set it to your video. So it's going to give your video, it's going to match like the colors on it a little bit better. And then I also recommend going ahead 
and typing in blur and we're going to throw on a Gaussian blur on the element layer and we're going to go ahead and turn that up since he's in the focus and the money's in front of him we'll just blur that so we're going to set it around 10 and we're going to keyframe it and we're also going to put a Gaussian blur on the background video here and we're going to set that at zero now we're going to press u on our keyboard and then u on our keyboard on the element and then as we move forward basically what we're going to have happen is we're going to have the money kind of go in focus fully and then when we reach here we're going to have him go out of focus so if we play it through you're going to see it's going to focus on the money and not focus on him and there's some other tips you could do as well like you could color grade the money with the metric color but I'll leave that for a different video as well as 3D tracking. So if you guys enjoyed this and learned something, make sure to leave a like. I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of December. So make sure you guys lock in and watch all the videos. And we're also running a buy one, get one free on the website. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.